Mayor Linda Jeffrey. She's uh, Mayor of the City of Brampton. Linda. Nice to be here with you. Yeah, nice to be here too. And uh, we want to talk to you about uh, you know, the city. You know, we're coming up with a new plan of uh, Ryerson and uh, Sheridan Joint Venture, yeah. Joint Campus. Can you please tell us uh, where it's going to be? Is it going to be at the Davis Campus or is it going to be a new location? You know, Ryerson had the opportunity to choose about 10 locations, and they actually chose over our Brampton, our downtown Brampton GO station. And they're bringing a National Center for Cybersecurity in combination with Sheridan. And uh, the Chang School is also part of that conversation. Uh, we're very excited. We're working on a memorandum of understanding right now about the details about how it will come. And I know a lot of people are concerned about the parking in and around the GO station. But the city, we've done land banking all around, so we own many of the properties around. So we'll move the cars to the sites we own for temporarily and help Sheridan build their new facility. At the same time, we're going to be building a new national uh, uh, innovation center in our downtown with a new library. So I'm going to apologize now. If you're driving through our downtown in the next one to three years, it's going to be very messy, but it's going to be worth it in the end. You look very excited about this. And uh, so what about the infrastructure we've seen over the past 10 years, uh, cities growing? City of Brampton is one of the fastest, uh, I think second fastest growing city. So what about the infrastructure you think? Uh, are you have, do you have any plan for the future, for how we're going to cope with the traffic? And uh, are you coming up with some plan for that? The best plan is one where you work with the federal and provincial government to make sure that they're party to how you finance it. Because I don't want my residents to pay for all of the infra infrastructure. It's usually a third, a third, a third. It's usually the city, the province, the federal government. So I've had a very good working relationship with the five federal MPs. I probably meet with them once a month to talk about infrastructure projects, whether it's Riverwalk, whether it's the university. Uh, they are very helpful. We've also talked about uh, getting CP and CN to help us with the rail line through our downtown. We need an agreement because right now freight has priority over commuters. We need to change that so that my computers, commuters have an easier uh, way to get back and forth. So those conversations are very positive with our federal members. And I've just met with our provincial new government in the beginning of August, uh, having good conversations with them uh, about uh, transit, about health care, uh, about uh, what Brampton needs to, to help us grow. And I'm very encouraged. Uh, I had a Minister Tobolo in a meeting. Uh, he's the Minister of Community Safety because crime is an issue for my residents to talk about the kind of revenues that the province can be helpful with uh, providing us. So I'm very hopeful, very positive conversations. And after this election, I think it'll be even, I think the conversations will speed up. Thank you. Uh, and another question is about uh, you know the insurance that is touching every all the resident of uh, Brampton because uh, uh, insurance premiums are going up and up. A lot of politicians have uh, promised a lot, but uh, you have seen the outcome is not there. It, can we come up with something uh, which is more uh, like a different than something like something new, some new strategy that can maybe you know bring the insurance rate down? Is that do you have some uh, plan for this? So when I was a provincial uh, MPP, mm -hmm. I tried. I tried to fix auto insurance and it was very, very difficult. Uh, we tried to work with the tow truck industry and the medical clinics and the auto body shops. And you know, although we brought it down a little bit, it's still not fair and you're paying too much. It should have nothing to do with your, uh, where your postal code is in the city. It should all be about your driver's record. So when I was in uh, Ottawa at the beginning of August, I met with Minister Fideli. He is the new Minister of Finance. And I said, Minister Fideli, your government acts very quickly. Do you think you could work on something to help my residents with auto insurance? So he and my staff are talking to each other. It's early in our conversation, but the fact that this government under Premier Ford moves very quickly on things, I'm more hopeful that he will make it fair because my residents are not being treated fairly. So I am still on this issue. I know it's not fair and my residents deserve better. And what about uh, the property tax? Because property tax, uh, increase in property tax, uh results in uh, higher uh, rent and uh, you know more burden on especially seniors because uh, most seniors don't work they rely on their pension so is there a way because i think brampton people are resident are paying more property tax compared to the other major cities so is there any plan in, in your mind there's a there's a big plan in yeah. mind what what the city's been doing for the last two decades is just building houses yeah. if you just build houses your taxes go up 
If we as a city start attracting business and commercial industrial development, that will help our property taxes go down. We're a high growth city and everybody wants more services, but we were not a city hall that was efficient. Uh, we were very top heavy with bureaucrats. So my council and I have flattened the organization. We've streamlined out many of those expensive uh, senior management positions based on the advice of the provincial auditor. Technically, your taxes have gone down while I've been mayor. A little bit, but it's going in the right direction. The challenge is the Municipal Property Assessment Corporation valued people's property in Brampton as being valuable. So it made it go up, which I have no control over. So the part I have control over is attracting business and commercial industrial. That's what I'm going to do. And with a new council that is hungry and aggressive to chase business, whether it's in the health and life sciences sector, whether it's in cybersecurity, all of those industries are interested in coming to Brampton. I feel very hopeful that you will see a change. And I think there are a new group of people coming onto council that want to demonstrate that they are fiscally accountable to their taxpayers. I hear it from all of our candidates that they are interested in working with our residents to make life more affordable, and I will work with them to hold the line on taxes. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bureau Report, DAR TV, and NRI.